answers are inside Yeah, I am the 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time Come, come Come on, everyone, let's celebrate. We are the children of the sun. I can see you when I look into your eyes. We are the same, and we are light, and we are one. Here now, hear my ancient prayer and sing along. We are awakening as one. And we can make difference yeah we can be the change it takes to make the world hi there i'm carrie ellis author of 21st century superhuman this is our 21st century superhuman show and today i am actually in the same room with a couple amazing people one is mihal ledwith who is sitting behind me here and he was in the movie, What the Bleep Do We Know? And he's an amazing teacher of consciousness. And on my right here, I have Dr. Rodriguez. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly, what, exactly how to say it properly, but um, who is a brilliant um, innovator in the cash teachings and bringing forth some amazing new technology as far as um, ways that we can get ourselves well relatively quickly. And um, hello, guys. Good to be here, Gary. Good to be hello, Gary. Nice it is being with you. awesome to have you both here. I often, I usually do these shows, as my audience knows, with everybody in different places. And here we are in the same room. And we're in an amazing consciousness community in the state of Washington. And what these two gentlemen are doing with their lives on a day-to-day -day basis is kind of they're in this pool of growing awareness and amplifying the knowledge of how we're moving ahead as a human culture. And what's really exciting is to literally be doing this in the same room because it's a great energy field. I just want to show over to the side here, we have Rod Dr. Rodrigo's health unit and just sitting in the same room with it is super cool because there's a very large plasmatic energy field here and we he calls it the bridge and we ask permission when we go inside of it to um, allow these fields to work with us and help change our frequency but for the audience who's out there who is not familiar with each of you. I'd love it if you would each introduce yourselves and just tell a tiny bit about your history and then we'll have a conversation about how you both came across the cash teachings and started doing all of this. Mm -hmm. So Michal, how about you going first? Well, uh, in my previous incarnation in this life, I was a professor of theology and later I spent 10 years as a university president at his term of office. And then I came here to uh, attend the Ramthas School of Ancient Wisdom uh, a long time ago. So I'm a student of the Ramthas School. Nice. But about five years ago, I heard of the Kesh uh, technologies, and became very interested in that. And thanks to Rodrigo, who has gone into it in great depth. Yes. We've all advanced enormously in yes. what we know about this. You know what I like to say about that is, um, we each have different talents and they're not the same. And Whitney, who I'm out teaching with right now, has founded something called Many Hands for Peace. And the idea is we each bring different skills and tools to the table. Mm -hmm. And as we do that, we come out with a greater whole. And Rodrigo, I know you're very talented because you were formerly a surgeon, right? Yes, I practiced uh, plastic, plastic surgery for 30 years and uh, it was interesting and beautiful experience. And I, and um, a few years ago, I, I had my, my father sick and I wanted to find something for him you know, to be able to give him something in order to heal. So I heard about this technology, cast technology in 2013 and I was looking for information about that, and I promised my dad to find something to help him. And I know that that technology was going to release to humanity in 2014, so I asked my dad, hang up, I will bring that uh, 
the new technology to you to help you. Uh, but he passed in July 2000, uh, in July 2014, and the technology was released for humanity in September 2014. Mm. And those, uh, but I promise him that I will do everything to bring this technology to humanity, mm -hmm. and that was my goal. So now, I so what was it about this technology when you ran into it that made you think that? What was your insight? When you they had? said that it was, they would be able to heal 99% of diseases, this is it. That's what we have. I mean, as a, as a doctor, um, we playing that, that game to trying to heal people, but we couldn't heal anybody. We're just playing with diseases. When someone, when I heard about this technology, then we'll be able to heal I mean, not, not this technology is not healing. It's bring this technology <laughs> to the people, so the people uh, is be able to, to heal. It's what what happened is, is a different environment. We are able to heal ourselves when we were born, but for some reason we lost that ability, that skill, because uh, the pollutions, because a lot of stuff going on in the world. So we lost that ability. So this technology, is help us to remember that um, that uh, way to heal. Why is that? Is um, we have to understand then life and earth was made of the elements from the from the universe. Those were elements are uh, basically if we understand that the universe are so much. Um, there's a periodic table. All the elements on the on the on the universe. But it happened that uh, because the interaction between sun and earth comes uh, four uh, important elements, main elements, which is carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen. And life on earth is made of those elements. Life meaning plants, animals, and humans. And the environment or the, the, um, those elements on earth are varying because the pollution, because all the animals, as I mentioned before. So, we are not in the proper environment, so we cannot um, function properly. So this technology is like imitating that interaction between the sun and earth. So bring those elements to us, nice. so that we can change ourselves. Nice. And so this is technology developed by the Cash Foundation. Yes, Mr. Cash is a brilliant man. He's a physicist, a nuclear physicist. He also he is a Beautiful background about uh, uh, medical um, ground technology. Is a, as I said, it's a beautiful mind. He decided so he can keep all that technology to himself and becoming a rich man and powerful and control right. everything. But no, he is a man with a big heart and yes. he decided to give this technology to the world. Yes. And just I'm part of that team. Yes. Just only join that team. And also, Michal and I, we get together. We called Noah about, Noah about this technology a long time before, but yes. we were friends and we decided to work together. We were working together for a long time. We were just enjoying doing all this stuff. That is beautiful. So I know, Michal, you discovered the Cash technology first, right? And um, how, yeah, did, how did that happen? What, well, you know, your... I don't remember why, but I spent uh, six hours on it one night with, with the groups that I address here in this area. And I mean, the, there was nothing out there. Then. Have you just seen a video? Or I found something? it on the internet somewhere, but mm -hmm. I can't remember. I just have to go back into to my it, present. One of yes. Those. Now, what would you say about that from a quantum I would say standpoint? that it would be synchronicity. Yes. Yes. But uh, I mean, I was astounded when I saw the potentials of this. And I said, you know, if this is real, this is going to change absolutely everything. Not just, as Mr. Kesh himself put it so well, not just that the age of combustion is over, you know, right. the oil, gas, etc., the power area, but the whole regions of health yes. are going to be thoroughly changed. And it's the emotional body right. causing the physical body not to retain anything that doesn't belong there. It's not like radiation or chemotherapy. If you have cancer, it's not targeting the cancer. It's causing the body to expel it because the body is in equilibrium. I mean, I Beautiful. thought the potentials of this were absolutely astounding. Now, I really liked what you were sharing with me a little earlier of this concept of how we are 
as a quantum being and the levels that were I know that you teach Michal is a he teaches long hours of um, training with people to get a deeper connection to this um, quantum being that we are and how we're beginning to change and grow and mm -hmm. um, could you just share a little bit about that with us because it's such a treasure to have you here and those who know you from what the bleep know that you are a wisdom carrier in this mm -hmm. day and age well i don't know about that but we've tangled <laughs> i know but, um i think in, a lot of us have lived with a or are living with a really bad understanding of what we're doing here on this earth and you know a lot of people have sensed that there's some things radically wrong with uh, the whole setup that goes on here for example do i believe that there's an all-powerful god number two that that all-powerful god is loving and number three that that all-powerful god is the creator of this world can you hold those three beliefs together when you come across some awful tragedy i was reading a text from an author Anne voskamp last night her little sister who was 18 months old was run over by a truck in mm. the driveway you know, can you believe in a good God when those awful things happen? The mm -hmm. answer is you cannot. Mm -hmm. And I usually like to use the analogy of how science, astronomy particularly, moved from the understandings of Ptolemy around the time of Jesus to the change with Copernicus 1500 years later. In other words, no amount of improving Ptolemy's view of the universe would ever bring you to Copernicus. You had to scrap it and start again instead of the earth at the center with the sun at the center of course we've scrapped copernicus since then but my point is we can't advance in knowledge if we're ruled by a paradigm whose usefulness has run its course very and good point i think that our imprisonment in why we're here on this earth is an outdated paradigm that has run its course beautiful and of course it's embedded in the DNA of every person, because all thoughts become physical, yes. as you know. And that is a monstrous task to change it, but yes. we can. Mm -hmm. We can. And I know you had a few, um, well, I think that's really an important key, is that we are at this phase where we're, we're recognizing that we're almost in a broken paradigm. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it isn't serving us anymore. We've kind of gone as far as we can go. We've gone as far as we can go, even as many cultures around the world, because it's an overall paradigm for humanity. So what is it that you see, that you saw in the Kesh teachings that made you feel that was a window into maybe a new paradigm? Well, I, as I said, I moved here to attend the Ramtha School of Ancient Wisdom. But when I came across the Kesh technology, I said, my god you know what a wonderful companion to the teachings that that we're so privileged to have here this and is what is perfect. it about that what is it about that that you saw that in the cash teachings that because you know all of the current wisdom about medicine about power supply about health etc were all totally revolutionized there was a new a new set of things coming up and, you know, if you look around the world today, I suppose we can't help but be filled with a sense of hopelessness. You know, things are so bad. But I think at one of your earlier sessions, I pointed out that if we think things are hopeless, all you've got to do is look back through history. And there have been several major occasions in history when things couldn't get, possibly get worse, and then suddenly the cards were redealt yes. and the scene changed. And I think yes. this is what has happened with beautiful i like that analogy the, the dice have been thrown again yes i yeah, love it's a new that game. you know people talk about the event you know happening and there being a cataclysmic event or a, a big change that pushes change you know mm -hmm. and that may still happen but i think this is a many of us who meditate and pray you know ask for the change to happen gracefully and without there having to be harm and damage right. yeah, and Go ahead. Mm -hmm. But Go also, ahead. if you understand what's going on in the world, people struggling to bring food to the table, yeah, food to the table, health to, to yes. their family, and energy. So it's the main, the main three problems of the world. We're Definitely. working to bring those things to the world. So with this technology, everyone has the three 
uh, three sources of that. Yes. So it's not that, okay, I will promise that I will bring food. I promise that I will bring health. I will promise that I will bring energy. No, we bring you the, uh, the, the knowledge. And this knowledge is available to everybody. Yes. It's so simple, so easy that everyone can can uh, learn of doing all this technology, to apply this technology and yes. bring food to the table. And so in that way, this is a revolutionary technology. It's a new plasma technology. It, and it has the ability to supply all these things, to create food for cities, to create mm -hmm. um, power and tr transportation and healing. So really it has, is a way to bridge the suffering, bridge out of the suffering that's going on on the planet in a very mm -hmm. practical way. Yeah. But it's almost a higher dimension of these tools, we've been operating at a very 3D level, right? And so this is kind of moving us into a higher frequency form of activating these things. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Uh, absolutely. And the beautiful of this technology of becoming a student, I'm a regular student of the CAS, technology, of CAS Foundation. And the first rule and the CAS technology is once you know something, spread out. Yes. Bring to the people. Don't keep that that knowledge to yourself. Yes. It, because it doesn't belong to us. Right. Not anymore. Right. So that's why we've given uh, all the students of the Cash Foundations giving lectures, workshops, because that's what we have to do. The only way to bring this technology to the people to spread out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love to, what is your national heritage? Program? Mexico. Yes, Mexico, and um, you ran a hospital there for many years. Yes, right? I had a hospital practicing plastic surgery, and I moved here five years ago. Nice. So you might and you have, your wife is from from Russia. Russia, yeah. and then Michal, you're I'm from Ireland. From Ireland, mm -hmm. and what I love about this teaching is it is really multinational. We yes. have people from all over the world coming forward with common problems that are common to all of humanity but solutions for those and and but all these different minds and hearts and languages all participating together mm -hmm. it's really fantastic when we grow up we think that we are part of one country we know we're not part yeah. of the uh, of the world but we're thinking that every people or every single country is different yes and this community uh, uh, give us uh, the chance to know that to get together different cultures, different nationality and we realize that we're the same yes yeah. Yeah. and i know that's a really tremendous goal of the cash foundation our objective and we have the universal council right and yes. um and the universal council and the effort to reach out to governments all over the world to lay down weapons to become peacekeeping agencies and um and then to call ourselves one nation, one planet, one planet, one, one race, people, one, 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 one planet, one race, one people, or I don't know, I don't quite have. Yes, one planet, one, one nation, one race. One planet, one nation, one race. Living, and so, in, a, living in a rural galaxy on the fringes of the universe. <laughs> I love that in a rural galaxy <laughs> on, the, <laughs> on the fringes of the universe. Yes, beautiful. So, and here we are. We're. This is a a universal science it's a universal tool that has the capability of bringing humanity together as one mm -hmm. how powerful is that yeah so yes, the beginning is, is difficult to understand but once yes. you start playing with this tool yeah. it turns to be very easy yes. and fun yeah. because everyone can do it yeah everyone i was looking at a report that came out last week about the effects of the cash technology on lettuce. And there was a display in an aquaponics situation, just a couple of bottles of the GANs, not mixed with the water, right. but sitting in the water. The lettuces that, that were in that water were three times the size of the others. And the harvesting wow. period diminished from six weeks to four. Wow. Another experiment that was commissioned in Japan after Mr. Kesh gave the technology to help remedy Fukushima. That is, that is remedying the radiation problem in Fukushima. And the Japanese government commissioned a study of, of mice, uh, six groups of them, one was a control group, the other five 
where given the contaminated water that's being pumped out into the Pacific, they all died. The second group were given the contaminated water from the reactor mixed with CO2 GANs. They all survived. Oh. The third group were given an influenza virus and they all died. The fourth group was given the influenza virus with the GANs, not drinking the GANs, but simply having it in its field in there. They all survived. That is a beautiful story. So the GANs, the CO2 GANs, and all of these GANs, is what's really exciting, I'm currently on a tour with Whitney Fisher and we're teaching workshops all over the North American continent. And, um, excuse me guys, I work kind of like in a little, we're bunched together here, but this is good. But what's so amazing is we're visiting households where everyone else is making GANs and has <laughs> plasma tools going on. And we're learning from each other. I mean, it's just a constant interchange. Mm -hmm. You know, I have little pads on my computer, my laptop, because I don't like touching it. And the guy said to me this morning, well, I hope those are CO2 pads on there. And I was like, oh, what a great idea. And I hadn't even thought of that. And, um, you know, we're, I've been saying with Heather Bryant, and we're over there exchanging all the ganses that we have and making little pads for each other. And it's so exciting and so fun. And I don't even want to be in a house that doesn't have gans and copper coils in right. it because we are what? We're living in an amplified plasmatic field, Absolutely. right? Yes. So, Michal, do you have hands in your house? Oh, uh, Rodrigo has been very kind to me. And I have, Does he support you with hands? I have seven magravs. Oh, one, my gosh. One, I now have the eighth one, a triple stacker. Oh, wow. He designed them. Wow. Largely built for me here while admitting that I built it. But, uh, yeah, I think it creates a great field. I, a lot of people... Uh, around here, I think this area is is dramatically significant in the level of interest and the number of people <coughs> that are involved. What in do you this. think you have? I know you've had forty eight people in your workshops, Rodrigo. Yes. Um, I have two groups of people. A group that uh, actually is uh, Mihor and I. We have the mm -hmm. people that a group that built to build the Megra and another forty seven mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. building the health units. Now, can you make coils just like he does? Yes, I just say gil gil in there. There you go. I he has <laughs> incredible <laughs> skills. He's incredible, man. It's not the brain. He has incredible skills to build everything. He created a box that I have in my in my garage. Uh -huh. A box to put the uh, the rod and make the coils. Okay. Beautiful design by him. Yeah. Nice. He's going to go far. <laughs> uh, well, we each have our talents and we bring them together. Yeah. But what do you think there may be? I mean, we had a great showing. We spoke at the Triad Theater on Tuesday night here locally, and that brought in a really nice crowd. And somebody said they hadn't seen that much excitement, you know, lately. And it, it was mm -hmm. nice. That's, People were. You know, the very first night that Rodrigo spoke, People were turned away. Wow. Yeah, there was that is 100 and, amazing. 138 people that night. So, you think there might be a couple of hundred people in this community that are turned on to plasma energy? And there are, and you know, there are people that are more and that exponentially grow. And, and, and you know, there are people who don't didn't even know how to operate a screwdriver. Right. Now, working in these things. Wow. And also, we have people that are not very familiar on, as, on the language, English language. So I have another group, a Spanish uh, speaking group that I'm giving uh, lectures and workshops. So in the houses or we using, we start using the, the uh, racing, the Phoenix racing uh, school mm. to nice. uh, take advantage. So of we have teams. an international community here because this is kind of a gathering place. But we also have a very conscious community here. We have people. The thing I love about the cash technology is, you know, for years we've had all these people that have been into meditation to change the world and, you know, raising our consciousness and all of this. And that's sort of intangible. But I think a whole new level of people are being drawn in to this change because this is a little more practical, hands-on, mm -hmm. tangible. You can see it. And so we have all these tools that we're creating, and I think it draws in a whole nother level of people. It does. Like yes. I had a great, interesting story on that. One of my friends, her grandchild is uh, 13, I think. 
and they were in a physics class this just in the new semester and uh, the teacher said you know there are three states of matter solid liquid and gas and the boy put up his hand no he said there are three more he said there is the nanostate and there's gans and there's plasma <laughs> the oh my said, gosh <laughs> and the teacher was amazed but to give him his credit yes he pursued it he didn't you. just say shut up you know? yeah and so it's spreading even to the people <coughs> at that age yeah so it's, it's like a field that expanding it is a field that's expanding one of the beautiful things that i think because of what we can see happening in this community here and what whitney and i have seen as we've traveled is that wherever there is a group of people a gathering you know where people are kind of already maybe getting together and meditating or into healthy lifestyle or organic growing or the consciousness mm -hmm. movement um, if we can bring these teachings into that and begin spreading it um, through that, there, it, it's really a nice way. And what we talk about in the Cash Foundation is plasma for peace. That's kind of one of our sayings on this tour. And people say to me, well, how can plasma bring peace? And really by solving these world problems, this plasma energy can help us unite mm -hmm. as one humanity mm -hmm. on the planet and bring peace. So as we each have plasma in our fields, in our homes, we have the coils, the nano coating, the GANs, we are literally raising the consciousness field, right. the energetic field. Yes. And it's such a beautiful merging of matter and spirit. I believe yeah. um, we talk about in my, when I give talks, I talk about one of my friends had a teacher who used to channel the ascended masters, Nellie Kane, years ago, and she would she had wore a ring and she would wave her hand and ectoplasm would come pouring oh off the ring, <laughs> and it was um, you know just it was this she was pulling in from the ethers the energy of creation. Yeah which is what we're doing with bringing together the magnetic gravitational fields with alternating um, nanocoated coils mm -hmm. and alternating ganses. We're bringing this plasmatic field of creation literally into a form that we can utilize mm -hmm. for all these different tools mm -hmm. for healing, for energy, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Yes, a lot of people heat on and listen about uh, Plasma technology, new technology, yeah, so blah, blah, blah. But when we give lectures, when everyone gives lectures after the lecture says, you know what, don't believe anything I said. Just test it. Yes, very nice. All this technology, all this experience, mm -hmm. once you start making, this effect just instantly, yes. immediately. You can feel the energy, just feel the energy. Yes. And if you have any problems in you, the first thing that, that happened in your body, if you have uh, pain, in seconds disappear. Yes. This is the first thing you, you, yes. you will experience. So this tangible, you see the, the you feel the energy. Yes. The effect of this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's why we are teaching and you know we're here just being a little salt in the soup here because Heather invited us, but that we all begin having these things in our homes because we literally are going to be raising the field on the planet. Yeah. Um, and it's Hard to explain, as Rodrigo says, unless you experience it, but it, the experience is instant. Mm -hmm. and One of the experiences, if I may, uh, yes. I, I have a, a little boy who's coming to experience the unit, the breach, I call it. And I asked him, he has come for almost 10 days of uh, being inside, and I asked the, the mom, have you seen any difference? And says, well, actually, the first thing that I noticed, my kid is 10 years old, he has a problem with ear problem, and he said, the last nine months, he's been, he's been very cranky, mm -hmm. but since he, uh, two days after, after he started coming to the, uh, the, uh, the bridge, or the rear health unit, he's so very calm, loving, Aww. it's a different entity, it's, mm -hmm. it's so incredible. Beautiful. So, it's, we see the, the effects of this technology in a beautiful way. Yes. And, uh, you know, I have a, another little anecdote on that. We have three, two mules and a horse, they're pets. Mm -hmm. And where they live, they have two 50 gallon drinking things. One, one of the containers is connected to the roof, so it gets fresh rainwater. The other, we have to fill it by hand. They always drank out, the three of them always drank out of the rainwater fed one. 
So about five weeks ago, I put two bottles of CO2 cans with filled up so they had no buoyancy. So I put them in the bottom of the other tank. Mm. Now I'm told, I was told by Elaine the other day, they don't drink any more out of the rainwater fed. They always drink now out of this one. Wow, that and, is beautiful. And, and, I was, yeah. and really, you just put the CO2 cans in the bottle yeah, yeah. and let it sink to the bottom. And so yeah. it's just permeating yeah, the field. Are, and it, you know, it lasts forever. Yes. But I also noticed, because I don't visit them, uh, they're Elaine's pets rather than mine, but I noticed I was down there the other day when she was away, and they had got much more relaxed. Nice. And calm and peaceful. Nice, beautiful. In another experience that I have, I live in the country, yes, and I've been visited. I have visited more animals. I have deers come and visit in front of the house, nice. more raccoons, more, um, you name it. Beautiful this. gardens. I yes, it's beautiful, but I have visited in, and I have right on the corner here, yeah. there's a, a deer sleep all night, every night. Right? Yes, that's uh, his, his <laughs> nest. So he comes to sleep, yeah. so we see him there very often. So the visiting of those uh, entities around the house, those animals, is incredible. It, yeah. And so the lion shall lay down with the lamb, is that it? Yes, we're not far from The wolf that. shall lay down what with the lamb. What we need is a lion. Yes. But why is that a practice? As we always said, oh, we want, we want to be in, uh, in heaven. But this is, this is going to happen because, as we said, we're this going to bring heaven bring, to earth. brings you, uh, the, the, uh, feeds you. It brings mm -hmm. the energy that mm -hmm. your body needs in order mm -hmm. to feel yourself. So this energy brings you, the body, what it needs. Yes. So you don't have to eat. Eventually, you won't eat. Exactly and that happened right. also. That environment is happening to the animals. Animals don't have to kill to feed themselves. So yes. they, the behavior of those animals are changing. Yes. They're becoming more friendly, not only to us, but yes. in between them. Yes. So we change and we really changing this world to heaven yes. and this this is a beautiful this technology beautiful it's not that we have to carry those patches or the pants or whatever once you start making gains that 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 plasma Permeates. expand yes. uh, we are seen through oh, uh, the, um, a man from this beautiful man from africa um got dr gatwa who's uh, uh experimenting a lot on agriculture and he found that he, he, when he starts spraying just one uh, part of the land with gens, with CO2 gens in the plants, they have a good effect. But not only that, even the one that are close to them, they have the uh, same effect. Mm -hmm. that, that, that plasma field expands 100 yards away. Nice. So if you want to see results, if you want to compare, if it really works, get a piece of land, and another one, a hundred yards yeah. away from that, so you will see the difference, the difference. in between. Right. So because Beautiful. we have to understand, according to the noise, the plants feed themselves to the soil, which mm. is not true. Mm. The plants feed themselves to the leaves, to the environment. Yes. So if we give them the environment, then we don't have to add anything to the soil. And the, 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 <coughs> and the fact is, we see all the trees around the nature, we don't put anything on, on the soil and they're beautiful. Yes, So that, that's an incredible piece of information. And you and I were talking about this a little earlier. One of the ladies that I have shared with in the workshops I've been doing lately, put gams just in a container around her fig tree. Oh, her yeah. fig tree bore fruit two months early and she holds on her hand a fig and an avocado and they're the same size. And the figs taste fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then you were saying something bore here. I have a fruit tree, uh -huh. and especially the, the pears. We see a fruit tree, they have every branch four, five, six, right. seven. This year, the, the pear trees were like a, uh, grapes. Yes. All the branches were bending, yes. touching the you ground know, with yeah. full of, of pears. Yeah. The apples, full, like it looked like a grapes. Yes. And, and Heather said the same thing. She had an apple tree that didn't bear, and they went out and sprayed it with a little CO2 gans. Mm. And this year, they're having to prop up the branches because it's so yes, full so with full. apples. So what we want to encourage you to inspire you, A, to go to the teachings with at cashfoundation.org, the knowledge seekers trainings and the, um, the private teachings are you can get into and 
Um, even there's a doctor's group, which Rodrigo is part of. Um, and, but go to those teachings, but then do these things, you know, make yourself GANs, make your home filled with GANs, amplifying the plasmatic field, um, making health pens, making the coils and the mug grab units. It's not that hard. There's so many videos online and we're all, we're actually, I'm talking to Rodrigo about producing some videos about how to actually build his health unit because they need to be all over the world, not just in this one place. And, and the beautiful of this is we have in the, the Cash Foundation, we having all the classes in most of the language. We translate yes. all the classes in all the language. And not only that, that because fantastic. we have uh, students from all over the world. Yeah. So we, Mr. Cash encouraged us to teach people and yes. film it and record it. And so there's available all this teaching to everyone. So yes. no excuse to find information about this. In yes, and we have a huge contingency in China, in many of the Chinese languages. Russia is coming forward, the Philippines, I mean, all over, everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. And, and it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be as complicated as Rodrigo's beautiful health machine. Just making GANs is enough. And you can make GANs in a few hours. Um, and yes. there's so many ways to do this. We, using this new plasma understanding, this new plasma science to amplify the plasmatic field in your home, your village, your world, your city, um, you literally will be changing life on planet Earth for the better. Right. One thing that Rodrigo pointed out to me not so long ago. He's our hero here, by the way. I bet. No, he's the one that, no, I'm serious of that. Well, he, put in the hours. he has that practical connect. skill yeah. and he managed to just give birth to all these things. Right. And that is, we love to learn from someone who has a natural skill exactly. because we can teach ourselves that way. So well, it's, it's a blessing. It's such a huge he boom to us all here yes. that you in a different way. Yes. So, but one thing you did show me was, you know, there's so much going on about GMO seeds and all that. Right. And that they're infertile and they have all sorts of insecticides sprayed on them. But Mr. Kesh, you told me, <laughs> demonstrated, you soak your seeds in water. And then if you put the seeds, I, this is you know, what Mr. Kesh said to all of us, encouraged to buy those GMO seeds all over the world and put them inside the seed lock bag or any bag, plastic bag, and have a container or a, or a bucket full of CO2 GANs, water, and have those seeds inside the plastic bag. Yeah. Put them inside the free, uh, inside the water again, so CO2, right. and then 30 minutes, all those seeds will turn to natural seeds. That is so this beautiful. is a beautiful mission for all over the so world. So we, and I think in us also, it helps clear our DNA. Well, it's yes, it changes the DNA. So it's, our whole, it's doing exactly the same with us. Exactly. Yes, because we have been genetically modified because yes. we're the most chemically dependent society yes. that ever existed yes. here in the U.S. Yes. yes. And I think that's exactly what it's doing. And many place. places in the world. I mean, I yes. think there, there's an industry the whole of that the West. is... Yes. I think cleaning up our DNA, restoring the natural blueprint, mm -hmm. and even from the grief and pain and sorrow that people live with, besides just the chemicals. Yeah. You know, war. I mean, what is war? And, you know, a the, the overlay of the, of the civilization that has been based in materialism and kind of a taking, you know, even that has damaged our heart. You know, mm -hmm. you were talking earlier, Michal, about the heart and the hurts of the heart. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. And could you speak to that a little bit and how you feel the cash technology um, relates to well, that? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, if we are living in, in a quantum field, energy and the way that we focus our intent on that field is going to result in the kind of life we experience, the problems we meet, the victories we have, etc., and the achievements we accomplish. But what we do forget is that there are actually, as well as speaking metaphorically a bit, we have three centers of consciousness, the cranial brain, the brain of the heart, and the brain in the gut. And the experts say that the electromagnetic field of the heart, brain, is 5,000 times stronger than here. So if we're not aligned when we try to focus on the quantum field, we're going to go nowhere. Because I'm thinking up here in my head, I'm radiantly healthy, and down here in the heart, 
I feel mind doomed and I've only got six months to live. If I'm focusing the quantum field, I don't have to do a formal exercise to do this. It's happening all the time. We're constantly radiating because of what we feel deeply to the quantum field. Yes. So if I don't clean house yes. and get a harmony between these three centers of consciousness, you're wasting your time because you end up creating what you don't want. And I think that that is what the, the, Keshe, and the Keshe technology empowers us to do. Nice. It's, it helps us clean house and become aligned, become, as you said, Roger, you so well, it helps us to nourish us. And Beautiful. All the causes of war in the world are going to be removed because the yes. causes of war are removed. Yes. And all the problems of disease in the human body will be removed because the deficiencies <coughs> will be removed. There's no place for disease anymore. Beautiful. And that goes to understanding the four levels of, of changing or healing the person. That's four levels. The first one is physicality. The, all the doctors, we work on only on the physicality. Right. Removing tumors, right. you give medicine, right. and, uh, physically medicine to change the physicality. Mm. So we plan on this. But we, how many times we have seen that even you know, that we remove a cancer, we remove a tumor, the tumor comes back. Comes back. Yes. Why? Because we have to also work on the second level, which is energy. Right. right. Energy to develop this problem in the body. Yes. So we had to f look, uh, uh, work on the energy, and the energy, and we ask any doctor says, yes, do you know anything about the energy? Yes, yeah, the brain. The brain energy is, about, is part of the physicality. Yes. So the energy is a different, plasma energy, and we don't uh, understand that, but it's a different way. The, the, uh, the body works in a plasma field. So we, if we work, that's the technology, we work in the, in the energy with chance to change the physicality, but also we have the third level, which is the emotions. Right. How many times we have heard 98% of the diseases are psychosomatic. What does it mean? This mm -hmm. means that uh, some emotions people, mm -hmm. but want the medical field treat this third level, blocking the, the, the as they put mm -hmm. everything as stress. It's like yes. before this, everything is God. <laughs> so now it's everything is stress. Yes. And stress is so much fear on that. So this technology helps us to, to work on this level. Yes. This technology brings us elements that, that we need in the brain yes. in order to, to help uh, to relieve, uh, to, uh, to take us out of stress. Take, uh, yes, yes, exactly. So we, we already in the third levels and the fourth level that we're not, people don't understand or people um, in, in the medical field don't believe, but it's the soul. Yeah. Uh -huh. You have contracts with your soul. Right. If you don't deal with the soul, you yeah. cannot change it. So even you can change the feel, you can change the emotions, you can change everything, but if the soul decides to, yeah. to terminate that life, we will end up. Yes. But you can change that, that, that mm -hmm. the contract. Mm -hmm. So we, we, this is at the full level of uh, technology. We work in a net. So a lot of people says, why don't Mr. Cash give us uh, that information right now? No, he, he has all the knowledge to give us everything, but he wants us to understand, to go step by step, yes. so we can make anything out of nothing. Yes. If we put ourselves in the island and we find two pieces of metals, we can do something to eat, to, to, to heal ourselves, just with whatever we yes. found in any island. Yes. So that's the beautiful this technology and the beautiful the way Mr. Kess is giving out that information. He knows everything, but if he gave us everything, the maximum, okay, we have the machine who will able to heal in second. We have uh, a machine who gave us all the food, but what? What about the next generation? They have to build, they have to understand this technology. Sure. And this is a beautiful this becoming a uh, student that we're going step by step. Once any student of every um, um, uh, division of health or, or, um, or transportation or, um, or uh, agriculture, once re reach that point that I understand, mm. he goes to another state for everyone. So he yeah. wants everyone goes together. And every technology, every new device that we're creating, any new step on understanding that the technology, we put them on, right. on, on uh, Facebook, on uh, 
YouTube. There's yes, many sources. It's all public. It's all, all public. public that yes. we don't keep anything to ourselves. Right. So everything's right. available to everybody. And it's gifted to you. <coughs> it's, yes. It's free. Yeah, you know? some people come to me and say, Oh, what a beautiful unit. You should keep it to yourself and make money. I don't want to make money. Right. I left plus surgery. I left my money. Right. I want a different world. Yes. I want this technology to spread to all the world, to all the to all yes. everyone. I, I'm having here in the community forty eight families building this unit, building this so everyone can have it. I have people from Mexico, I have people from Chile, I have people from Argentina, doctors who call, uh, we are in contact, constant content, contact, that ask me um, um, questions how to make this building. I have uh, regular meetings with them that we're creating those technologies, those build this, uh, uh, devices and applying to people to patients or persons who have some kind of diseases and we all having a beautiful result yes. all as a community and yes. always when i have a always when i give a lecture when michael and i give a lecture we only have a, one thing one condition is don't keep this technology to yourself yes. go and teach with your brother your sister your cousin your neighbor your friend Mm -hmm. as soon as yeah. that well it's so beautiful that you two share this as friends and that you're able mm -hmm. you're teaching it together and well, um, he's teaching <laughs> I'm just but like, you were you're you're bringing it to people together you are even if you're the you're doing what you do well which is guide mm -hmm. and cheerlead yes. and teach the principle you mm -hmm. know so mm -hmm. you're bringing your hands to the table mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. what you do beautifully you're, well, it's, that's your gift. You're brilliant at it. It's your life, your journey. And then he has, he has another one. You know, he has another mm -hmm. set of skills. But you guys are using those skills together. And I think that's what Whitney and I are trying to be, help people get as we travel and teach in every community. Mm -hmm. You know, we say, one person's going to bring cookies. Yes. You know? It's, it's like, and it's, so it's, yeah, go ahead. No, it's like a, as a doctor doing a surgery. Yeah. And so, oh, you're a great surgeon. No, yeah, I can do that, but, but I can't do it myself. Do it I right. need a nurse. I need a shortage. Yeah. I yes. need a circulant. I need the assistance. I need the, I need four or five people in right. order to perform the surgery. I cannot do it myself. So it's not yeah. me. Yeah. It's not this technology. It's, it's a teamwork. It's, yeah. This is a beautiful technology. If we work as a team, we have a beautiful result. Yes, yeah. and you, and that is one humanity. You know, it is us coming together as a human community, a human right. team, a human village yeah. that can, by putting all our resources together, and it's what I say is taking us out of, you know, the materialistic civilization that has said more for me, more for me, you know, mm -hmm. and it's been mm -hmm. the rising of the individual, mm -hmm. which has, there's good to that, but yeah. now we have to go circle around and go the next level, which is coming back together as mm -hmm. individuals in a community. And we know what each of our skills and talents are. Mm -hmm. um, I know you guys probably notice this in the groups that you teach here, as we do when we're traveling. Somebody shows up and they really understand electricity, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. that guy who got up on stage at the Triad Bruce. Theater, and he had that, yeah, he had that little um, DC. DC, DC transformer. Yeah. And I, even when he explained it to me, I still don't know what it is or what it means or what it can do, but he's going to help the whole project go yes. because he's going to have that tool and he's going to know how to use it, you know? And, and then you have people who show up who are really good at woodworking or building, you know, the containers like that guy Steve who came, you know, and, and then people who are making new inventions and this is a creative process too there's not just some formula that it has to be exactly this way okay. like each of us who come to the table are giving birth to new ways to bring this technology forward mm -hmm. and, and, and this is a lot of details i have another another uh, details for a lady who was giving a lecture and i mean when i talk to them they're saying that uh, we need the uh, caustic to none quarter the, the cause. But what happened when when we used to caustic? It damaged our skin. Right. So we have, in, at the beginning, we used to have a, a little weird skin. Everyone have a, yeah. a reaction to the skin. And this beautiful lady came, came to us. And during the lecture, it says, <coughs> avoid damage your skin. Every time you touch caustic, use uh, vinegar. Exactly. Wash your hand with vinegar. And after that, I, I have my, 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 my skin exactly. back, my beautiful yes. skin back. Yeah, we teach that. Just like that. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a, a 
I am engineer to bring yes. new knowledge to this thing only. Everybody mm -hmm. can bring something for the, to them. Yes. Everybody. And I think I, uh, something that you emphasized beautifully, consistently, was how crucially important it is. If this is a living, conscious energy, the plasma, how important it is to be personally relating yes. so that we're not building just machines. Yes. And you turn them on and they work and they, or they don't work. Yes. These are devices that facilitate this interaction. So if yes. you can do this work yourself, I think the benefit to you from that device is going to be amplified. Yes. Yes, Mr. Kess always said, before you, when you start building, even with, with making the calls, making uh, the nanocoding, because you're building a bridge with this uh, plasma. And in the minds of humans, we cannot see life out of the body. If it doesn't have a body, it has no life. But yeah, this is not yes. true. We understand, I have been in this technology, in this plasma field so long that I can feel when this, I feel this energy. And Mr. Kess says, before you go inside the field, give love. Yes. And in, in the experience that people have come here and experience the, the unit, and I have, I have to jump when experience with one person. He came to the unit and he says, you're going to spend 10, 10 minutes inside the unit. And he will spend 10, unit, 10 minutes. And afterwards, he says, what do you feel? Nothing. Nothing. What were you thinking when you were inside the, the unit? Oh, because you told me that I was going to be 10 minutes. So I stuck. And, and I don't have any, any watch on myself. So I stuck on it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 6, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 60. So, his mind wasn't in, in focus on destiny. Right. So what a plasma is, is a bridge to allow you, higher self, to control the energy and change some, something in your body. When someone goes in that mind, instead of mind, and feel the energy, you control the energy. Whatever you focus on, you focus on the heart, you focus on any problem in your body is, that energy goes straight to their body. It's intense, intense. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you decide, you... Your higher self control this. This is, right. a, this, this is what I call the bridge, not how you yes. the bridge, because allowing you, higher self, to be, or to you to be in contact with your higher self yes. and do whatever you want to do. And Change it's it. not even when we're in it, but it's when we're creating it, when we're making the dance, saying, I love you, and putting peace into it. And you put intention, intention, love, and peace, and love. Yes. I mean, it's into that. That energy goes yes. that is you mix that energy of intention, the blood yes. on that energy of feel of plasma. And then it's, it's resonating that. Yeah, you increase in thirty minutes because that's thirty to forty percent the power of the units. Yeah. That's why we're saying, Oh, this unit works on with them and this guy, but not not as well as the other one. Because the one who built it put the intention, the other one yes. who will buy it input intention. One it doesn't mean that you have to buy to buy, uh, to build it to have it. No. If you're gonna buy a unit once you put have the unit intention. in your hand, you buy it, put your love and intention, yes. and then you have it. You will have the same result as the guy who built it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, what a treat to get to talk with you both. Our privilege. It is mine also. Just Thank you really so a treat. Mm -hmm. And now it's a pleasure to be with my friend here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's you know, I was thinking... Uh, <laughs> when you were speaking about the way so much medicine and indeed everywhere tends to treat symptoms rather than the root cause that has produced them. And I was thinking of that old story, it's a tragic story, but it's a true story of a conference that was held on the top floor of a 15 floor hotel built of wood. And in halfway through the conference, the fire alarm went off in the conference room in the penthouse area. And people were frantically pushing all sorts of buttons to try to get right. it to stop. And then one genius produced the pliers and cut the wire. So this, the noise stopped and they proceeded with the conference. Meanwhile, of course, the fire was on the ground floor and the hotel burned down. Mm. And we, of course, instinctively say, you know, what a crazy thing to do. But that is exactly what we do with illness. We medicate the symptoms. We yes. dull the nerve paths that are bringing the message. And voila le résultat, as they that say. Yes. Way yes. To that. Yes. yes. And so this is a new way to, it, to do something different, mm -hmm. to energize the cells, 
to begin putting the fire out naturally mm -hmm. and the body to do that itself because it's energetic field is raising and mm -hmm. its immune system is raising mm -hmm. and its ability to respond is raising. Mm -hmm. Well, my brothers. Thank you so much, Karen. Yeah, you Thank too. To really bring this, to, now, this uh, message to the world. Yeah. I know a lot of people listen to you shows. You're bringing a beautiful message to the world. Thank and you. we are so proud to have you as a friend. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like to, should we turn the camera towards your health unit? And you could just stand up and point, point out a few things to us. And um, let's see if we can get this. I haven't ever tried to do much with just this, yes, just the, the, let me see if I can get it raised yes. a little bit. Get both of you, get you and the unit. Yes, people together. have said that it's a bunch of coils, a bunch of wires, but those coils are nanocoded to bring energy and mixed with GANs. So bring energy to the field here. One, speak when you step inside the field, you feel, you feel the energy inside. You feel the energy all over your body. That's uh, the beauty of this. It's, uh, it's instantly, you, instantly, you feel all the energy going through all the body. That's amazing. And then I really like the way you have the salt water bucket down there, which is to help drain off. What needs to leave, is that correct? Yes, just leave it there. Uh, just it drains whatever energy it says that your body has to remove, it goes there. And it's incredible because at the beginning of that, water was a different color and all the sediments that the body releases to uh, when remove that as an energy and turns into matter. So it's a little sediments on the bottom of that uh, seawater. Nice. So you see those results. Yeah. So it's not dairy or warts or, or um, um, just a bunch of words. It's, it's real. This mm, is nice. Michal, do you ever go in there? Yes. Oh, yes. I you do? I have to lift it. You have to lift it. I'm just up in for a second. I will lift it a little bit more. Sorry for the bumpiness. I don't usually do this from my computer. But... Nice. And when we walk in, we ask for alignment with the energies, for permission, for love, to bridge into higher frequency being. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, thank you guys so much. And we shall see you on the next 21st Century Superhuman Show. You can um, stick my little eye in here. Um, you can find me at 21stCenturySuperhuman.com. And Rodrigo, you and I are going to work on some shows to teach people how to build this magnificent unit. And Michal, I know that you're teaching classes all the time, right? Right. Yes. And um, can people get in touch with you somehow? We oh, yes. the lecture, the workshop, the lecture we are doing together. Perfect. So maybe I'll get some information from you guys that I can put under this video if Perfect. people want to know how to contact you. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank, Thank you both so much. Thank you. Very Privilege much and an honor. Us. Great yes. To, great to meet you again. Love to everybody. Many blessings. And we shall see you all soon.